A good crowd here to see the visit of Swindon Town, currently sitting third in the second division table. Both sides have made changes since their midweek matches. Swindon have Nicky Summerby in at full back, of course, Nicky Summerby, that famous father, Mike Summerby, who played for Manchester City and in fact played for Swindon Town in the late 60s. Wolves have Mark Burke taking over the number 10 shirt from the injured Andy Much. And Robbie Dennison and Gary Bellamy are on the substitutes bench. So, young mascot, Simon Erd, having met the referee and the two respective captains, leaves the field as Wolves prepare to kick off. Attacking the goal towards, uh, to our left, in front of the deserted North Bank. Referee Ward just checks his watch. Gets the signal from his two linesmen. And Wolves get it underway. Calderwood giving an early touch to Fraser Digby in the Swindon Town goal. Swindon fresh from a 1-0 victory over Bristol Rovers in midweek. And as I say, currently placed third in the second division table. I'm looking to sustain that good run this afternoon Venus gets the header Bennett for Ashley Tom Jones inside for Hoddle, gets the return. Calderwood to Hoddle. Not afraid to play a bit of football on the edge of their own penalty area, Swindon Town. Can get them into trouble at times, but uh, with a player of the creative qualities of Glenn Hoddle on the ball now. It's no surprise they like to let him control the game. New lease of life for Glenn Hoddle. The sweeper's roll. Nice ball outside by Mark Burke for Paul Cook. Burke, Birch, Ashley. Not a bad left foot cross and ball meets it. Calderwood was there with him. And free kick quickly taken. Hazard. Downing pulls him to the floor, concedes the free kick. And the old Tottenham combination there of Glenn Hoddle and Mickey Hazard. Hoddle quickly taking the free kick and finding the experienced Hazard. Jones.
No, we haven't seen Digby kick the ball out yet. I doubt we will very much this afternoon. That's a great ball through. Well, claims from Steve White that he was impeded by Tom Bennett. Referee unimpressed. White foot high there, but Downing getting the header in. Jones again. McLaren. Venus. Calderwald will beat him to that and concedes the throw. Simpson fouling Burke there, concedes the first free kick. Two Wolves. Mark Venus and Paul Cook considering the options. Venus will leave it for Cook. Curled in at the back post. That was Laurie Madden who was threatening there. Hoddle outside for Jones, gets a good header on it. And Bennett in quickly. First touch of the afternoon by Mike Stow. Well, the sweeper system certainly concedes space to Wolves. The question is, can they exploit it? Venus to Cook. Calderwood with the header, but too hard for Jones to be able to keep it in play. Venus inside for Burke, and he flicked towards the ball cut out by Hobble. And the referee spotting an infringement by Downing on White there. Wants the free kick taken from the correct spot. Ashley, powerful header. Taylor forward, but offside. And the flag catching White, staying behind the Wolves back four. Steel. Good tackle by Sean Taylor. Burke. Birch. Ashley. Walls prepared to play the ball around on that far side. Bull brings it down. Well, it was a saving tackle by Colin Calderwood. Just taking the ball off Steve Ball's toe. It's a little suspicion of a push by Steve Ball there, but the referee allowing play to continue as Paul Birch's cross came in. And it was only the long legs of Colin Calderwood that saved Fraser Digby from the shot from Steve Ball. But now the corner, first of this first half, Paul Birch. And it's an own goal! Well, the ball bounced in the six-yard area there. I'm not quite sure who it was who put it past. Fraser Digby. In fact, the goal of being awarded to Tim Steele there, but 
from our position it was slightly obscured and seemed to almost come off a Swindon player but Tim Steele it is who's been awarded the goal and Wolves take the lead after eight minutes well, it'll certainly open things up here at Molyneux Swindon will have to go search have a goal themselves. Taylor now to carry it into the wall. So oh, Simpson. Taylor looking for White. And the referee deciding that Bennett barged into Steve White awards the free kick. Ladbrook's opened their new betting office in the John Ireland stand today. I think you could have got odds of 12 to 1 on Tim Steele scoring the first goal this afternoon. Simpson with the cross. Drops for Tom Jones. Sells it towards the back post. Madden with oh, bullet is with a header away. Simpson fires it in. There's a good left foot shot from Simpson. Always going wide. Mike Styles, left hand upright. And Laurie Madden obviously said something to referee Tony Ward, possibly about that uh, free kick given against Tom Bennett. And Wolves earn yet another booking for descent. A little bit of a problem for them this season. Ball challenging with Calderwood. Simpson with the header. Taylor with the header. Nicely played inside by Burke first time. Wins it back again. Simpson getting the ball forward. Ashley almost finding Steele. Simpson being harassed by Birch. Wins it back again though. Sweeps it out to Jones on this near touch line. Madden getting higher than Shearer. Venus neatly forward. Hold now. Black Country football fans were treated to a fine show by Swindon when they played West Bromwich Albion in the first round of the Rumbelows League Cup. And uh, Duncan Shearer scored one of the hardest hit volley goals you're ever likely to see at the Hawthorns. Giving Albion keeper Stuart Naylor no chance on that particular occasion. Mike Starr will no doubt be hoping he doesn't get a similar opportunity this afternoon, but he's not had a look in yet, as Wolves have had plenty of possession. And players like Paul Cook and Mark Burke will relish the opportunity to play a little bit of football against the side who enjoy playing it themselves. And there's an example of it with Hoddle prepared to play the ball out of defence. White gets the flick on, but there was no one there to take advantage of it. Downing looking for the running steal, and it's come off the head of Colin Calderwood, but Fraser Digby quickly off his line. Rather, Mickey Hammond quickly off his line. Taylor
Huddle. Chipping it towards Shearer, gets the header down. He was holding Tom Bennett at the time. The referee awards the free kick. Well, we've played 13 minutes here at Molyneux. And Wolves through Tim Steele. Have that useful one goal lead. Calderwood to Jones. Cook dispossessing him. Summer be taking on Ashley. Hazard. Back to Summerby. Simpson looking to hit it right towards Steve White. White denied by Venus. Only Steve Bull up there, but he's causing havoc. Defence and get the shot in in the end. Well. There were three defenders around him, Calderwood, Hoddle and Taylor, but Bull still managed to get the shot in. McLaren now for Swindon, hits his pass straight at Mark Burke, and a poor ball cross field, easily cut out by Kevin Ashley. Well, Wolves will have to expect to have a more patient build-up this afternoon against the Swindon side, prepared to concede space in front of their back five. Bull judged to a foul Taylor there. It'll be an interesting test for uh, Wolves' footballing abilities. It could hardly be a more stark contrast to the style I came up against on Tuesday night against Cambridge United. Venus looking for Burke, cut out by Simpson. Calderwood, Hazard, Burke gets the toe in. Huddle hits a long pass towards White, gets a good header on it. Can Shearer keep it in? Not quite. I almost made the most of Steve White's downward header then. Bennett outside for Ashley. Birch is making the run, had to check back as he went offside now, Bull. And Hammond quickly off his line. And a quick clearance sets Tom Jones up. McLaren. Summerby. It's 
Turning Ashley around, and that's a penalty. Well, we had the anniversary of the penalty celebrations before the game. And Wolves fans might have hoped that they'd see their first penalty of 1991, but in fact they're going to get a close inspection of the penalty-taking abilities of Mickey Hazard. Right in front of the South Bank, and really the referee had no choice and can have been no argument as some be turned Ashley inside out. And he saved it. Venus puts it away for a throw-in and the celebrations are confined to the Wolves fans on that south bank. As Mickey Hazard hit a rather ineffectual penalty, Mike Stahl picked the right way to dive, pushed it away and Mark Venus following up cleared the ball for a throw-in and so Wolves with 19 minutes gone. Preserve their one goal lead. And Kevin Ashley will no doubt buy a pint for McStyle after the game. And grateful thanks for having spared his blushes and conceding the penalty in the first place. And Hoddle needs to inspire his team to get forward again. They do so, it's Bennett who gets the header though. Venus makes the clearance, Bennett still holding his nose after the challenge from White. White again winning the ball in the air. Madden cools thing down a little. Bull stretching for that header. outside for Summerby, the player who earned that challenge and Ashley will be a little concerned now as he comes running at him. But Birch comes across and steals the ball off Summerby's toe. Now it's going to be an interesting afternoon for Kevin Ashley with Nicky Summerby obviously keen to carry the ball and test the Wolves fullback. Hoddle just shepherding the ball out of play for a goal kick. And the ball not leaving the area. The goal kick will have to be taken again. Hoddle. Shearer holding it up. The ball coming off Ashley for the throw to Swindon on that far side. Hoddle winning the ball in the air. Something we weren't too used to seeing him doing in his England days. Ashley Ford for Steele, it's a good ball. Well cut out by Sean Taylor. And Summerby can only launch the ball far towards the family enclosure. Amanda's family enclosure on that far side. Simpson carrying it forward, he's got Shearer and White up ahead of him. Wolves only got three back, three on three. Simpson carries it. Well, it was a poor pass really from Simpson, but Hazard having the ball stolen off his toe by Burke. Now it's three on three at the other end of the pitch. Ball to the left, Steele to the right. Hazard's got back to help his defence out. Calderwood slipped, ball was free for a moment then, if Steele could have got the cross in. He can now and Ball does get the header in and it's a superb save by Nicky Hammond. Well, Mickey Hammond dove to his left as Bull put everything he could into that header. Well picked out by Tim Steele. Well, I think most people were predicting that we get plenty of goals this afternoon as Swindon Town like to attack. They like to play the ball out from the back. It tends to create chances for other sides and Wolves are 
fairly free scoring side. I doubt whether this afternoon's game is likely to end up in 1-0 and the ball straight up into our commentary position here. Hazard through for Shearer and that was a timely challenge by Bennett to get the ball away. Summerby again and again Ashley brings him clattering down and I would think Ashley could well be making an entrance into referee Ward's notebook, yes. And that's the second time he's brought Summerby down. The first, rather more seriously, was inside the area. And this time he receives a yellow card. Hazard supervising the free kick, knocks it to Simpson. Shearer back in, Bennett. Claims for a penalty for the foul on Calderwood, but it... Offside against Bull. Complaints from the South Bank, but uh, I can assure them from our position here that Steve Bull and Tim Steele were both offside as that ball was played through. Summerby. Chips it through for White. Simpson. Venus getting the header away, drops for McLaren. Well closed down by Keith Downing. And some good defending from Walls as Swindon start to apply the pressure. Calderwood, well judged to have handled the ball. Madden towards Steele. Venus, well played. Taylor the clearance only as far as Burke. Tries the back heel but it comes back to him. Eventually got the cross in but Hoddle, plenty of time to control it. Summerby again. A fairly spectacular back pass. Summerby, Simpson, Jones making the run on this right-hand side, McLaren will no doubt feed it to him, he does. Chip through for Hazard. Cook, given the chance to get the toe in but couldn't control it. Venus being pressured by Simpson. That's a poor back pass by Venus and a sizeable frame of Duncan Shearer bearing down on McStall. And Wolves caught easily offside as Swindon pushed forward as one. 
Beckham still left stranded. Calderwood to Simpson. Hoddle. Venus and no nonsense volley. Bennett. Did very well under pressure. We've had 29 minutes here at Molyneux. Still Wolves lead by that solitary Tim Steele goal. Simpson, a little bit of a late challenge, but uh, referee awarding the free kick. I think it looked worse than it actually was. Paul Birch quickly up. <laughs> Neatly controlled on the thigh by Mark Burke. Venus. Cross towards the back post, headed behind, hat to beers. Mickey Hammond was diving backwards and it was out of his reach. And Sean Taylor had to put it behind for the corner. And in spite of plenty of attacking from both sides, it's only the second corner of this half. Slight problem with the corner flag there, the referee now happy. Cook whips it in, Madden helps it on. Somerby switched to this side, battling with Mark Burke. Venus, well, the ball actually came off Nicky Somerby, but to be fair to the linesman, it was difficult. Some will be switched to the left again. White the flick on. Shearer. Well, he couldn't get any power on his effort. He was stretching with his right foot. And Stahl. Right down in front of the Swindon Town number eight. Collecting it easily. Madden, they headed down for Venus. Hoddle, <laughs> they headed down. Well, if you fancied a, a flutter this afternoon, you could have had odds of 6-1 to one on Wolves winning this match 1-0. However, I wouldn't, if offered the chance, even put the money on it now. Cook beat two challenges and was eventually brought down by McLaren. Earns the free kick. Has a few words after the referee's gone away. But uh, little unfortunate as... Cook had created the opportunity and now Swindon back with everyone behind the ball. Cook pauses as Madden trots up to supplement the attack, whips it in. Put the header 
wasn't far away from Steve Ball. Oh, Hammond was rooted to his line as he watched that ball go across his goal. And it wasn't too far away from his right-hand post. Madden, good header. And that's onside for Tim Steele. Just couldn't quite take it in his stride there. Chips it across. And the header behind by Calderwood as Mark Burke threatened. Burks towards the front post. Simpson helping it on. Venus will get there before Shearer. The pass was intended for Mark, or for, rather for Paul Birch. But, uh, easily cut out by Tom Jones. Referee will want a word with Fitzroy Simpson and Paul Cook. Hazard. Shearer. Cook. Birch helping it forward and ball being deposited on the turf by Sean Taylor. Free kick quickly taken by Mark Burke. Birch. And the line for Steele. Taylor getting the header, Downing getting it forward, but now Jones looking for White, Madden to Venus, Cook, it's a good ball for Steele, in behind Taylor, it's his cross state into him though, now Ashley to have a try, leaves it for Cook, Venus joining the attack, has a try, they scored from there before, this time Hammond well positioned behind it, has it gone a, a good run, good work by Tom Bennett. Cook, no doubt come to Venus, but it's well read by Duncan Shearer. He'd seen that Venus was going to be the target of Cook's pass, just as I had, and cut it out now. McLaren to bring it forward for Swindon. 
outside for Jones. McLaren again. White's header. Oh, that wasn't far away. Some good work on the right by Jones. Inside for McLaren and the header eventually from White. Just inches away from Stahl's left hand post. Six minutes to go to half time. Wolves still lead one goal to nil. Swindon Town applying plenty of pressure now. Some of you brings it forward. Header down, well cut out by Downing. And Jones was the man who tried the spectacular shot. The direction was good, but the altitude was far too high. Calderwood. Actually, a good cross. Burke chesting it down. Downing to Venus. Ball. Swindon were in all sorts of trouble there, although no one was pressing in the six yard box, they almost created problems for themselves. Birchin steals the ball off Hazard's toe. A long kick from McStyle straight out of play at the other end of the pitch and Hammond taking it short Summerby showed too much of it to Paul Birch Some will be to McLaren, no doubt. On to Jones. It's a good cross in. White had risen well, but he didn't really get the kind of header on it he would have liked. He got up to the ball well, and it was a good cross from Tom Jones. The ball going harmlessly behind. Bennett, a good header forward for Bull. Took a deflection. Uh, I think if that hadn't been deflected, Wolves could well have been going in at half time, two goals to the good. As it is, they get a fourth corner with just a couple of minutes remaining. Paul Cook to take it, Madden and Bennett on the front post, whips it in.
White winning the throw. Simpson to Summerby. Stowles easily collected. And one wonders how significant that penalty save from Mickey Stowell is going to prove at the end of this match. Well, it have been the moment that's earned all three points for Wolves. Oh, that's it in the first half, says Tony Ward, and that penalty save has indeed kept a clean sheet for Mike Stahl. The goal from Tim Steele after eight minutes, giving Wolves the lead at half-time, one goal to nil. So Swindon Town get the second half underway, trailing by a goal to nil. Scored by Tim Steele after eight minutes. Summerby caused one or two problems for Wolves down the left-hand side in the first half. Shearer judged to have backed into Venus there. Wolves get the free kick, but not from there. I would imagine there were a few words said in the Swindon Town dressing room about showing a higher level of commitment in the second half and a certain lack of urgency from the Wiltshire players. Birch curls the cross in, Hammond comes and collects ahead of Steve Bull. Hazard. Penalty miss could prove very costly by Mickey Hazard. And Hazard himself knows he's not having a particularly good match this afternoon. And that ball through for Fitzroy Simpson really gave the Swindon number nine no chance. Now they come forward again. Shearer. Hazard. Returns it to him, but Venus in quickly. Wolves captain spotting the danger. Venus to Cook. Calderwood is way to goal blocked. Work it out tremendously and some appreciative applause from Wolves fans as well as Swindon fans there. Some will be for White. Hazard back to Summerby. Just gets away from Birch. Downing a tremendous challenge. Burke was trying to find Bull. Hazard, he's onside. That's a tremendous save, and behind him, Laurie Madden clearing the ball off the line for a corner. Mickey Hazard can't quite believe it. It was a beautiful ball through from Hoddle. Hazard onside, took it on his chest, and tried to side foot it past Stahl, but once again, the big Wolves keeper denying Mickey Hazard. And Laurie Madden just coming in behind to clear up the loose ball on the line. Burke a faint header away but only to Jones. Taylor couldn't get over it and Stahl screaming at his defenders. He'll be keen to get Wolves first clean sheet since the opening day of the season against Watford. clean sheet this afternoon would ensure Wolves 
the three points. Summerby, White, Simpson, Madden rushing across. Stahl again, quickly off his line, diving at the feet of Duncan Shearer. Find a fine ball. Oh, tried to lay it off for Mark Berg, but it's gone out for a throw on that far side. Wolves, if they were able to maintain this scoreline this afternoon, would move level on points with Swindon. Of course, the positions would be dependent upon other results this afternoon, but it's very tight at this stage of the season. Shearer trying the first time cross straight into Bennett. Hazard to White. Somebody curled in, headed away by Cook. Now Wolves have three on two. Steel. Crosses long towards Venus. Uh -huh. As Tom Jones came back, he missed the header. But Venus, with his view obscured, the ball came down and hit him on the legs and bounced harmlessly to Mickey Hammond in the Swindon goal. But now Swindon have the chance to put some pressure back on Wolves. White. Simpson. Hoddle. Jones. Clearance nodded by Simpson down for Taylor. And his ball through is a pool on Bennett cutting it out, trying to release Steele, but that'll beat him out of play. Well, the wind certainly picking up here at Molyneux. The clouds have started to scud across above the ground, and the sunshine has long disappeared. And that's Shearer. Well, he tried the first time volley and Downing. Coolly back to his keeper. Well, Shearer's first time volley miss hit against his own leg. Offside flag was against Tim Steele there. White. Perched as well. Bull battling with Taylor. Downing with Hazard now. Hazard can't keep it in play. Wolves get the throw. Hazard unimpressed by that. The ball just crossing this touchline down in front of us. And in the meantime, I think Wolves are perhaps considering a substitution. Graham Turner has come down from his seat in the stands and is now alongside the Wolves dugout. Gary Bellamy 
having put the tie-ups on his socks. He's standing alongside the dugout as well, but at the moment it's steel for Wolves. Cross in. Well, if it had a little more elevation over the top of Mickey Hammond and Steve Bull would undoubtedly have been on to extend Wolves' lead. Simpson. Summerby. Venus, calm under pressure. Summerby chips it through for Simpson, who's finding more and more space in this half. Fires his shot straight at Downing, but the re rebound comes to... Well, off the post in the end, but the rebound came to White. He chipped it across for Shearer. His header against the post. And Wolves, indeed, will make a substitution. The ball out of play. Gary Bellamy. Well, at first, the number they held up was number 10, which should have been Mark Burke. But in fact, they now get out of number 7. It's Tim Steele. Takes his seat on the bench, and Gary Bellamy. Well, I think Wolves now may be reverting to a sweeper system and putting two men up front in Bull and Burke. Hazard. And Cook made a mistake there and letting that ball bounce. He acknowledged it with a wave to Mike Stahl. And Graham Turner obviously recognising the fact that his side are beginning to feel a little more pressure in this half. And the wind, a contributory factor too. It's blowing hard from left to right, or rather from right to left as you look at it. Into the face of Mike Stahl and the Wolves goal. Simpson now. Bellamy across. Right. His first touch on the ground. And a good one it was. Summerby does well. Burke taking it off the toe of Ross McLaren. Well, it was a good idea. He saw Mickey Hammond off his line and tried an effort from nearly 40 yards. Hoddle carrying it forward for Swindon. It's a poor ball from Simpson though, giving Summerby no chance. Well, a header forward from Taylor was intended for Summerby, but it was too high for the Swindon number three. Somebody gets the header this time. Cook. Oh, 
Had to check back as Venus had fallen on the far side and couldn't make the pass out that way. Madden forward. Easily cut out by Taylor. Calderwood. Hollow. Jones has to come back to his manager. Wolves trying to keep with the players and Swindon looking for the opening, but they can't find it as it's cut out and balls on side now. We often see that when a keeper challenges with an attacker. It's often in a way that a defender would get a free kick given against them for, but a clear challenge from Mickey Hammond on Steve Bull. But uh, Paul Cook's body check of Fitzroy Simpson, Simpson earns a booking. Madden the header. Hoddle. Bellamy may not be fully match fit, but he's looked sharp since he came on. White. Trying to lay it up for McLaren. And again, Wolves steal it off the Swindon Town players' toe. Burke looking for Bull. Calderwood gets the header in. Simpson. Hazard, Jones, Simpson, picked up again by McLaren, Hazard, again McLaren the man to pick up the pieces, it's a beautiful pass out to the right to Tom Jones, Cook getting the toe in, this time it's Hoddle collecting the clearance. Hoddle. Aim for Hazard. And just off the thigh of Laurie Madden into the arms of McStar. But it's a measure of how much pressure Swindon are applying now that Glenn Hoddle is operating on the edge of Wolves area as opposed to the edge of his own as he was for much of the first half. Shearer. White, Simpson tries to get the return to Summerby, Ashley across to concede the throw. Bellamy getting up highest and getting a good header away. It's Summerby getting another cross in. Madden. The header by Ashley. Cook under pressure from Shearer. Hit tremendously well, but not with the pass. Wolves putting pressure on themselves, not able to clear their lines. Stahl comes and collects imperiously.
Well, he's an impressive keeper. Mike Stahl with a penalty save today and another good save from Mickey Hazard. And some good work in the air. He's reinforcing his claims for a international recognition. Bennett the header. Cook to Ashley. It's long for Bull, but Hoddle the header down. Referee Ward wanting the throw in taken further back than that. Bennett with the header, Hoddle controlling it on his chest and delightfully chipping it to Calderwood, his captain. Strange pass back to him from Mickey Hazard. McLaren aimed towards White but easily cut out by Bennett and Bellamy turning on the edge of his area. Not looking dissimilar to Glenn Hoddle in style. And now Birch for Burke. Birch again. Through for Cook. And Calderwood had to be quickly across to deny Cook. But the last touch came from the Wolves number eight. That'll be a goal kick. We've certainly seen some delightful touches from both sides this afternoon. And it's good to see sides prepared to play football and entertain the crowd. They haven't had as many goals as perhaps many people expected, but we've certainly had some good football to watch in Hoddle, the orchestrator of a great deal of that. Simpson. That's a poor ball from him. He's got his manager into trouble. Simpson to Hazard. Shearer with the header. White. Well, he had a good challenge from Laurie Madden there, which put him off. But once again, the opportunities beginning to present themselves to Swindon. Cook gets, gets the flick on. And the Wolves get the free kick for the foul on ball by Sean Taylor. Bellamy for Birch. And Cook trying to chip it over for Birch. Simpson easily cutting it out and gets away from Cook. He's got a good turn of pace, Fitzroy Simpson. Birch back well to deny him. Cook to Bellamy. Gets the return. Burke's gone on a run in the right hand channel and he's in with a chance and it's a good tackle back by Sean Taylor. I don't think he actually got a touch on it but he did enough to put Mark Burke off. Simpson. Summerby. End-to-end -end stuff this if not too many goal mouth chances.
Venus doing well. Cook turning neatly away from Hazard. Simpson and almost dropped for Summerby Simpson again Taylor for Hoddle header inside from White Madden under pressure from Shearer Hazard. Shearer won't be able to reach that. Mark Burke fouling Sean Taylor there as the ball dropped. <laughs> Flick on by Shearer and White. Back to Summerby. Header from Taylor wasn't too far over. Had Mike Stahl scurrying across to ensure that it was going to go behind for a goal kick. As Taylor trotted back from that effort. Seemed to be limping slightly. Chasing after Hoddle. The more experienced England man getting the better of that encounter. It's a good ball forward for White to chase. Bellamy. Downing with the tackle. Simpson tried to get it to Hoddle. Birch and Simpson having a real battle in the middle. Cook to Burke. He's got Ashley outside him. Not many options up front. Cook. And Bellamy almost letting in Duncan Shearer there. Venus. Downing. Oh. 
McLaren to Hazard. Well, Wolves have weathered a period of sustained pressure from Swindon. Well, in truth, a substitution by Graham Turner of Gary Bellamy for Tim Steele. Seems to have calmed them down at the back and given them a little bit more stability. And a well proven inspired move. If the score remains 1 0. Huddle for White. Bennett getting the header in though. Birch. Just holding it up and now letting Burke go on a run. Taylor's got some speed though. Showing no signs of the knock that he was carrying earlier. McLaren to Shearer. Hoddle again. Up in the Wolves half. Stahl comes again and collects. McLaren inside for Simpson. Huddle. McLaren through the legs of Bellamy. Bennett. And Venus. Simpson to bring it forward now and Venus was out of position there but cut out by Cook. And a late challenge on Venus by Colin Calderwood. And in the meantime, Swindon Town will bring Sean Close on for Mickey Hazard. Well, Hazard hasn't had the best of afternoons and that missed penalty, or rather the save by Mike Stahl, adding to his misery. Cook and Venus get there before Calderwood. It'll be a Wolves throw. As far as Madden. Taylor. Calderwood for Taylor again. Simpson. Inside the fullback for Summerby, but Ashley getting back. Bennett now for Wolves. Ball's onside, played onside by Taylor on this near side. He carries it forward and puts it in for two goals to nil. Well, you have to point at Sean Taylor, I'm afraid, there on this near side. It was he who played on ball. Everyone was looking for an offside flag, but quite rightly the linesman's flag stayed down. Taylor on this near side 
playing him onside. And Bull, given an opportunity like that, doesn't miss too many. And that gives Steve Bull his seventh goal of the season in eight appearances. And surely ensures all three points for Wolves this afternoon. The Wolves fans celebrating, singing the name of Steve Ball, and well they might. And the whole of the Wolves bench jumped up in unison there as Ball put that in the back of the net. Taylor making no mistakes this time. Well, it's been a tight game, and now Bull for Birch. Cuts inside, Simpson might have a shot himself, and does. It was swerving, but Hammond had got it covered all the way. Hoddle now has to commit himself forward as Swindon try to salvage something from this game. Bellamy. Swin in town earn themselves their second corner only their second of the match but a goal here with just around 10 minutes remaining would set up a grandstand finish Hoddle it is with the flick on and headed over by Tom Bennett on the line oh it was flicked on at the front post by Glenn Hoddle and it's Colin Calderwood I think who came in I must have thought he'd put his side back in the running, but Tom Bennett popping up on the line, heading that ball behind for another corner. This time it's hit long, and Stahl got a touch on it. Couldn't hang on to it. Swindon taking their tally of corners up from two to five in the space of a couple of minutes. Stahl collecting it this time. Oh, got hold of it at the second attempt. Getting a toe in. Venus. Simpson running straight into Mark Venus, but Swinning get the throw. Taylor. Summerby. Bennett with the header. Bennett again with the header. 
And he's had a fine game this afternoon, the young Scotsman. Well, this match started in glorious sunshine and it looks as if it could well end in rain here at Molyneux. But I shouldn't think the Wolves fans will mind one bit what the weather conditions are like, as long as the score remains as it is at the moment. 2-0. Taylor and Bull battling for that one. Neat control. And that could fall for Shearer, fires one. Well, I said at the beginning of this match about the goal he scored against West Bromwich Albion. Further out than that, but a similar sort of situation, the ball dropping over his shoulder and he fired a tremendous shot past Stuart Naylor on that occasion. This time the perfectly positioned Mike Stahl pats it down. The ball's offside as he battles through with Calderwood. McLaren. Close, a substitute. He's Downing, following him well. Jones. It's a good cross in, and this time Stahl can't keep them out. Well, he's performed heroics so far this afternoon, Mike Stahl, and he was hoping for a clean sheet. For that man, White, he's had a good few opportunities this afternoon in the air. And that time he got the header right. And although Mike Stahl got a hand to it, he couldn't prevent it from going into the back of the net and spoiling his clean sheet. And now the pressure is going to be on walls for the remaining five minutes. And really, Swindon Town have probably deserved a, a goal with the opportunities they've produced and the football that they've played. Graham Turner and all of the Wolves fans will be hoping that it is just the one goal that they get. No offside flag despite the appeals. That'll be a free kick. A dangerous play against the goal scorer White. His foot was a little high against Kevin Ashley. Well, once again, the importance of that save for Mickey Hazard's penalty by Mike Stahl becomes even more apparent. It's beaten both Shearer and Madden, but close, flicking it on. A header away by Downing and Bellamy. This time, Bull is offside. Hoddle. Ashley, I think, was fouled there by Summerbee. Yes, indeed. The linesman flagging and the referee, Tony Ward, awarding the free kick. All well, the storm clouds are certainly gathering over Molyneux. The question at the moment is can Wolves' defence weather the storm of pressure from Swindon for the last? five minutes of this second division match. Now have a throw in. Summerby allowed to play on. Madden beaten by the flick but Bellamy there. Outside for Venus, it's a good ball. Inside for Bull. 
A cross field ball to Ashley. Birch trying to find Burke, but it's a poor pass. Ball fouling Hoddle. Allowed to take the free kick quickly. Not from where the offence occurred, however. Only a couple of minutes remaining now. White. And Madden again doing just enough to put Steve White off. But there were a few hands clasping heads around Molyneux then. it says referee Tony Ward Wolves take all three points from a fascinating encounter this afternoon Tim Skill opened the scoring after eight minutes in the first half Steve Bull after sustained pressure from Swindon Town extended it to 2-0 on 78 minutes and then Steve White popped up with a header with just five minutes to go but Swindon Town couldn't do enough to earn a point from this afternoon's game and really the talking point and the point on which the game swung was probably that save from Mike Stahl from Mickey Hazard's penalty on an afternoon on which Wolves celebrated 100 years since the first penalty. Mike Stahl making a vital save to earn Wolves all three points. The final score here at Molyneux, Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Swindon Town 1.